Okay, today we are going to continue chapter 4, Interpolation, using cubic spline piecewise smooth interpolations. Okay, why piecewise polynomial approximation? Because, okay, when we're trying to mix a polynomial to go through all the data points from x node, y node, x1, y1, x2, y2, up to xn, yn. Imagine if you have a 100 data, then this will be 99 degree polynomial. The values are unpredictable and will be inaccurate between nodes. Okay, beside higher degree polynomial will, can result in very poor fit or overfitting. Okay, example, the curve okay, does a bad job of describing the trend of the data. Okay, even though the fitting error is nominally zero. Okay, thus a low degree polynomial called cubic spline between every pair of data points are used. The fitted curve in is actually piecewise in each interval. In okay, every two point x naught to x one we construct okay, a cubic okay, a polynomial. So x one to x two, another cubic polynomial. Okay. So xn minus 1 and xn is a cubic polynomial. So cubic spline is actually piecewise cubic square function between every two nodes there. And it satisfies this uh, six condition. First, sx is a cubic polynomial denoted by six on the subinterval xi to xi plus 1 for each i equal to 0, 1 up to n minus 1. I mean from x naught to x1, we denote the okay, the first cubic spline okay, function as a si x. When i is 0, this is x naught. Okay, later on, s1 and so on. And then okay, condition 2 is s x i will be equal to f x i. So I mean the spline function will be actually passes through all nodes. Okay, S i plus 1 okay, will be equal to S i. I mean the spi spline function are continuous functions. I mean S k 1 will be equal to S node here. Okay, the first derivative of the S k, uh, I mean S prime, S prime i plus 1 equal to S prime i. Okay, it means spline function are smooth no sharp corner or its slope are continuous. And then the second derivative, s double prime i plus 1 will be equal to s double prime i. Means that curvature functions are continuous. Okay, number 6, one of the following set of boundary conditions is satisfied. If the, okay, mean the boundary okay, point at the second derivative must be equal to 0, then this is called natural cubic spline. Okay, if the s prime x node equal to f prime x node and the s prime x n equal to f prime x n, this is called the clamp cubic spline. Okay, example one show that the following data construct okay, the natural cubic spline below. Okay, ask us to okay, uh, mean. This one, sx k okay, cubic spline, we have the data 1 to 2, we have a cubic function, 2 to 3, another cubic function. Okay, this is what we denote as a, okay, this is s naught, this is a s1. Okay, first of all, okay, we want to show using, okay, condition 2, then 3, 4, 5, and 6. So condition number 2 is actually, um, what, uh, I mean, if I s not, if I take this point s not one, okay, I must show it equal to f one. The answer must be okay. So let me show the s not get okay, one. So when you plug in one, this is zero. This is zero. Two minus one equal to one. So this is equal to f one. So it is satisfy S not one equal to F one. Okay, how about the S not two?
Okay, when two this one. Okay, this one we already show S node one equal to one. Then equal to F one. Now we show the S node okay two. So plug in two here. Two minus two, this is zero. So this one become one. This one become one. So negative one over four plus five over four, the answer is one here. Which is equal to F two. Okay, this is a condition number two. Okay, and then you may also show the S naught, okay, two. Uh it show sorry, S one. Okay, S one two. Uh. So S one is the okay second function here. Yeah? S one. Okay, plug in two into the okay, uh the second cubic spline function S one. Okay, when x is two, this is three minus two, this is one, so negative one four. Okay, three minus one, this is two, so negative one four plus five over four, which is equal to one. So it's equal to f two. Okay, f two you get one. And then you can show that s one three. So three minus three this is zero, three minus three is zero, which is zero, equal to F3. So we show okay, that it satisfied okay, the second conditions here. Okay, and then actually uh, the third condition. This one. The third condition is actually means the okay, S02 will be equal to S12 equal to 1. Let's just see. Okay. S1 at number 2 equal to S0 at number 2. Yeah. In the connectivity, when you, when you plug in X equal to 2 in the S1, and you plug in 2 into the S1, uh, this is S0, mean the S naught at when x equal to two will be equal to S one when x equal to two. Yeah. Okay, this is the condition number actually number two three. Yeah. Let's see here. This one. Now we shown number two, number three. Now we are going to show okay, the first derivative. First derivative okay from let's say one at the point number two will equal to S prime zero at point number two. In okay, this now we will show this one. S one because their connect point is x equal to two. Okay, so now we are going to show S prime one at x equal to two equal to S node. Uh, S prime node two. Then we're going to show for the second derivative. Okay, and then uh, at the end point, S second derivative, okay, end point, what is the end point that we have just now? 1 and 0. Okay, 1 will be equal to S double prime 0. This should be equal to 0. Okay, so now we find the first derivative. You see this slide? Eh? You find the first derivative. S prime x. So you have 2. So this is a S prime nodes. Okay, find uh, the first derivative. So you have negative. This is 3 over 4 x minus 1 squared, okay, and then differentiate 2 minus x, this will be negative 1, differentiate okay, this, 5 over 4, okay, for x, 1 to 2, okay, including, so square bracket, okay, for s1, we differentiate it, okay, you have 
negative 3 over 4. Okay, and then 3 minus x squared. Okay, differentiate 3 minus x, we have negative 1. So differentiate 5 over 4 times 3 minus x, you have uh, negative, erase it. Negative 5 over 4 is for x 2 to 3. Okay, so we are going to show that okay, their connectivity at the point x equal to 2. We are going to show okay, s prime. Yeah, where is it? Right, yeah enough space to write so I write here so s prime note at the point 2 okay plug in when x equal to 2 so 2 minus 1 this is 1 so I mean you have negative 3 over 4 minus 1 plus 5 over 4 okay so this is neg uh, so negative seven plus five, so equal to negative two over four, which is negative half. Huh? Then we find s prime one when x equal to two, the second one. So x equal to two, three minus two, you have one. So this is negative 3 over 4 times negative 1 minus 5 over 4. So it's uh, 5 minus 2. So negative 5 plus 3. So negative 2 over 4 is negative half. So you have shown that S prime not when x equal to 2, because the connecting point equal to s prime 1 when x equal to 2. Okay, which is conditions, this, this condition, yeah. s prime k 1 when x equal to 2 equal to s prime node when x equal to 2. Yeah, condition number 4. So now we differentiate it one more time to get second derivative. Then show that second derivative, okay, when x equal to 2, okay, mean the same point, x equal to 2, will be, okay, equal to the s double prime, okay, s double prime node when x equal to 2. Okay, that means uh, we need to differentiate it a uh, second time. Yeah. Okay, if I... Directly differentiate here, a bit faster. So if this is a, I change other colors. Okay. okay, second derivative, second derivative, second derivative. So from here, differentiate, okay, uh, one more time. So the two bring here, so you get, and you bring two in front here, so a negative three over, this become two. This one become power one. Okay, differentiate constant, no more. Okay, and then this one negative, negative, positive. To bring k okay, in front. Lastly, okay, uh, this one become one. This become two. So this one no more. Okay, and then now we calculate uh, s okay, double prime. When x equal to 2, yeah, erase this one. So when x equal to 2, 2 minus 1 is 1. So you have here uh, negative 3 over 2. So s double prime, okay, note when x equal to 2, then calculate s double prime 1 when x equal to 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1, so you have 
negative 3 over 2. Hence, we have shown that S double prime node, okay, when X equal to 2, equal to S double prime 1 when X equal to 2. This is condition, okay, number 5. Number 6 is, okay, S double prime, okay, starting point. I mean, the, okay, at the both boundary point, yeah. I mean, the starting point, S double prime, okay, this ending point must be equal to 0. Okay, let's look at So this is our okay second derivative, huh? and we find okay s double prime node starting point is one. I mean starting point you put in this function s double prime node. So when x equal to one, so one minus one power one. This is one. We have negative three over two. Okay, sorry. When x equal to 1, 1 minus 1, this is 0. Okay. Okay, this is 0. Okay, and then s double prime 1. Okay, the ending point is 3. 3 is from the okay, s1 double prime. So plug in x equal to 3. So 3 minus 3, you have 0. Checking on this one. It does. So we have K okay, uh shows that. Two, three, four, five, six. Which okay, is a condition for the cubic spline. I mean the S X I equal to F X I, S I plus one equal to S I, S prime I plus one at the point X I plus one will be equal to S I prime. Similarly, you replace sec first derivative by second derivative. Okay, and then for second derivative at the starting and ending point must be equal to zero. Okay, and then uh, okay, the second example. Consider the natural cubic spline as node x equal to four plus b not x plus x cubed, s1x equal to 1 plus b1x minus 1 plus 3 times x minus 1 squared minus x minus 1 cubed. Verify that s double prime nodes at the point x equal to 0 equal to 0 and s1 double prime at the point x equal to 2 equal to 0. Okay, so means okay, we need to find the second derivative okay for S naught. So first of all we find S naught prime. We differentiate respect to X, we have B naught. So differentiate it okay, second time we have zero. Okay, so this is okay, proof. Then we find the first derivative for S1. Differentiate respect to X. So we have B1, okay, this will be 3 times 3, so 6 times X minus 1. So this one multiply here, so minus 3 times X minus 1 squared. Okay, and then we plug in, uh, sorry, differentiate it second time. So differentiate constant 0, differentiate 6 times X minus 1, you have 6. Okay, for the third term, we have negative 6x minus 1. Okay, now we plug in S1 double prime when x equal to 2. 2 minus 1 is, okay, 2 minus 1 is 1. So you get 6 minus 6, answer is 0. So we prove this. We have, okay, verify S not double prime at the point x equal to 0 is 0. Because the second derivative here is 
Oh, sorry. I think I got some mistake but to differentiate. B naught plus 3x squared. So for second derivative, differentiate B naught, this is 0. I got mistake to mistake. I left out this term just now. So differentiate it second time, you have 6x. And then you plug in. When x equal to 0, you got 0. So you have shown verified as not double prime when x equal to 0, equal to 0. And then s1, okay, double prime when x equal to 2, equal to 0. Okay, the third example. Consider the natural cubic spline s not x equal to 4 plus b not x plus x cubed. S1x is actually 1 plus B1x minus 1 plus 3 times x minus 1, minus 1 squared minus x minus 1 cubed. Use S naught 1 equal to 1 and solve for B naught. Okay, then plug in x equal to 1 into the S1. So you have 4 plus B naught. Plug in x equal to 1. So plus 1 equal to 1 here. Hence, B notes will be 1 minus 5 equal to negative 4. Right? 5, 1 minus 5. B not equal to negative 4. Okay, then example 4. Okay, use the same k cubic, uh, natural cubic spline function. Use S1, 2 equal to 2 to solve for B1. Okay, so we plug in x equal to 2 into s1. Eh? So 1 plus, okay, when x equal to 2, 2 minus 1, this is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so plus 3. 2 minus 1 is 1, so minus 1 equal to 2 from here. 2 minus 1, so 1 squared is 1, so plus 3. 2 minus 1, so 1 cubed is 1, so minus 1. So 1 and 1 cancel. So B1 will be 2 minus 3 with the negative 1. Okay. And then, okay, how are we going to construct the natural cubic spline? First step, construct the divided different table using the following formulas such that the HK is actually xk plus 1 minus xk. Yeah, I think got the some. Okay, and then the dk is actually fk plus 1 minus fk divided by hk. Okay, and then bk is actually 6 times dk minus 1 minus dk. So where the k start from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to n minus 2. Okay, second step for natural cubic spline. Okay, m not equal to zero, m n equal to zero. Okay, zero. Remember just now condition number six. Mean the okay, f double prime at the starting point must be equal to zero. The second derivative at the ending point must be equal to zero. And then derive the system of linear equation with unknown m k. Then find okay, m not, m n is zero. Okay, where the k from 0 actually up to the n. And we find the unknown m1 start up to mn minus 1. Okay, the fourth step, find the cubic spline sx in which its piecewise cubic polynomial is given by okay, this uh, formula here. Where the k start from 0 up to n minus 1. So when you have n point, you have a n minus 1 cubic spline functions. Okay, example 5. Okay, this is a hk, dk. This is a bk. So you construct the natural cubic spline using the following data. First of all, we turn the data x and k. Okay, this is a y or f to vertically. So this is x, negative 2, negative 1, 0, i, okay, 0, 1, 2. 
Okay, this is F, 1.4, 2.9, 2.2. Calculate the H. Okay, H is exactly, okay, XK plus 1 minus XK. So this is a H node. So it will be X1 minus X node. We take the X at the bottom, deduct the X on the top because XK minus 1 minus XK. So negative 1 minus negative 2 become 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay, and then the H1 will be the X2 minus X1. So 0 minus negative 1, we have positive 1. Okay, D exactly takes the FK minus 1, mean D1, uh, D naughts will be F1 minus F naught divided by the H here. I mean, it's actually 2.9 minus 1.4 divided by 1 here. Okay, this one, this value, 2.9 minus 1.4, which is 1.5 divided by 1, you get D naughts here. D1 will be, okay, it's uh, actually F2 minus F1 divided by H1. Yeah. D1. F2 minus F1 divided by H1. So 2.2 minus 2.9, you got 0. Uh, 2.2, negative 0. 0.7 divided by this one, negative 0. 0.7. B is actually 6 times of the D at the bottom, deduct D on the top. So negative 0. 0.7 minus K, okay, negative 1.5, and then you time by 6, get this B. And then for natural cubic spline, you have a, okay, 0, 1, 2. So, mean the M, not M2 is 0. So, you just calculate M1 using the formula in step 3 here. Using this formula. So, using okay, the formula H0, M0 plus 2 times H0 plus H1, M1 plus H1, M2 equal to M0. K plug in K equal to zero. Oh sorry. Using this formula, this is already plug in K equal to zero. We, we use this formula, okay. M not M2 is equal to zero for natural cubic spline and then plug in K equal to zero. So you have H not M not two H not plus H one M one. Because k equal to 0. So this is h1, k, m2 equal to b naught. Okay, plug in all the corresponding value. h naught is 1, m naught is 0. So this term is 0. Okay, m2 is 0. So this term is 0. Okay, b naught here, negative 13.2. h naught plus h1, 1 plus 1, 2. Okay, so 4. Okay, M1. Hans calculate for M1 will be negative 13.2 divided by 4. We have negative 3.3. So we obtain M0, M1, M2. Okay, then we have 3 point. Actually, between 0 to 1, you construct S0. 1 to 2, you construct S1. So then k equal to zero. Okay, the x actually this one uh, k equal to zero. X is from negative two to negative one. Okay, we already calculate m one is actually negative three point three. Then to calculate s node, plug in k equal to zero. So you have then plug in all the corresponding value. So when k is 0, so you have m0 divided 6 h0, so this will be x1 minus x power 3. So this is okay, k equal to 0, m1 divided 6 h0, x minus x0 cubed. Okay, k equal to 0, so f0 divided h0, m0 divided 6 h0, so x1 minus x. This will be f1 divide h naught minus m1 divide 6 h naught x minus x naught. Okay, later on, plug k. Okay. For natural cubic spline, okay, m naught here, m naught is 0, so this term 0, m, okay, we have m2, this, okay, here we don't have m2, 
So plug in M1, this value, neg okay, negative 3.3 .3 divide 6. H1 is here, which is 1. So X minus X node. X node is negative 2. Okay. Then plug in correspondingly. F node is actually 1.4. H node here, 1. Okay, M naught is 0, so this term 0. So X1, negative 1, so minus X. Okay, F1, 2.9. Okay, H naught is 1. So plug in M1, okay, negative, negative, so 3.3 .3 over 6. H naught is 1, so X naught is negative 2. So you have to, okay, from the formula given, make sure you, okay, plug in the k equal to 0 and then plug in all the corresponding value carefully. Simplify. Okay, you may leave it this form or you want to expand right up to here. So this is a S node. So similarly for S1, plug in k equal to 1. Okay, plug in k equal to 1 to the okay, natural cubic spline okay, for, formula there. S1, so M1, 6 H1. So X2 minus X cubed. Okay, k is 1. K is 1. So M2 divide 6 H1, X minus X1 cubed. So this is F1 divide H1 minus M1 divide 6 H1. K is 1, so X2 minus X. K is 1, so F2 over H1 minus 1 plus 1, M2. Okay, M2 is 0. This term is 0 for natural cubic spline. Okay, M2 is 0. So second term here is 0. So X minus X1. Then plug in. M1 is negative 3.3. .3. So calculate this one. Get okay, here. Second term is 0. So F1 here. 2.9, H1 is 1, M1 negative 3.3 .3 divide 6. So simplify here. This one you get here. 0 minus x, negative x. And then F2, 2.2 2 over 1. Okay, M2 is 0. So X1 is negative 1. So 2.2 2 over 1. So 2.2 2 times x plus 1. Okay, may leave it here or you can expand. Simplify, you will get. Lastly, this is a okay, natural cubic spline for S1. Okay, if you want to confirm whether you obtain it correctly, okay, whether the natural cubic spline that you obtain correctly, you may just check, let's say, S node negative 2. Okay, you should get back 1.4 here. I mean, you should check okay, F node, S node negative 2. Okay. Calculator. Okay, just key in this function. Okay, oh, that's why I said uh, this one will be easier if it in this form. To calculate, but since very simplified, then when we check using this one, okay. x is negative two. So you get when x negative 2, I should get 1.4. So you get 1.4, correct. You can calculate s node negative 1. Okay, calculate negative 1. You get 2.9. When x is negative 1, you get 2.9. 
equal to f negative 2 equal to f negative 1. Then from the s um, 1, okay, so you key in the s1, which is 0.55. Calculate x is negative 1. Okay. So you get to point 0.9. Oh, I, uh, I key in the wrong function. Two point nine. Okay, and then S one zero I get two point two, which is equal to F two. And you see okay, this is actually condition. Okay, which condition just now? Condition two not mistaken. Condition two. And then we are also show this one. This is condition three. Condition K. Okay, this is actually the condition two. And then the condition three is actually here. Yeah, they are connected. K okay, connect point is negative one. So you show S not negative one equal to S one negative one. This condition number. Three. Okay, condition number four. Okay, you have to find their first derivative. First derivative is show that s prime zero at negative one will equal to s prime one at negative one. This condition four. Condition number five is actually you have to show second derivative. Okay, you can okay, differentiate, okay, let's see, let me find the, sec, uh, the first derivative, huh? okay. so I want to show the conditions, okay, number four for first derivative. I erase this part first. Okay, so the S not prime. Okay, differentiate respect to X. So negative 3 times 0 0.55 X squared. So Differentiate second term, so minus 6.6x. Differentiate the third term, negative 4.55. Okay, uh, so we are finding the second derivative. Huh? Okay, differentiate one more time, so negative 6 times 0.55x minus 6.6. Okay, and then for S1 prime, Got three times zero point five five x squared, so minus one point two five. Okay, for the second derivative, have six times zero point five five x. Okay, so now I want to show condition number four. Okay, I use the first derivative. Huh? First derivative for this one, when x equal to negative one, I calculate uh, negative three times point five five alpha x uh, squared. Yeah. Okay, minus six point six alpha x. Minus four point five five. Okay, calculate for x equal to negative one. So you get is zero point four. This one I get. S k 
Mm, condition three. Let me erase. Uh, otherwise, very messy. So I obtain the s prime zero when x equal to negative one equal to zero point four. Okay, and then okay for the s prime one, uh, which is three times point five five of x squared minus 1.25. Calculate x is negative 1. So also you get 0 0.4. So mean okay, s prime 1, negative 1, also 0 0.4. So mean condition 4 is satisfied. Now condi condition 5 is the second derivative when x equal to negative 1 for both s node prime double prime and s1 double prime okay let calculate okay which is negative six times point five five alpha alpha x x alpha x okay minus six point six calculate x for negative one so you get negative three point three so S double prime node when negative one get negative three point three. Okay, and then key in lastly this function six time point five five time uh, x calculate x for negative one also get negative three point three. So S node double okay. S1 double prime, when x equal to negative 1, you get negative 3.3. So condition 5 is satisfied. Okay, and then condition 6 is actually for natural cubic spline, with the second derivative at the both end point must be equal to 0. And the condition 6, S double prime at the okay, starting point, which is negative 2. That the function negative 2 is here. Calculate starting point is negative 2. So we get 0. Okay, uh, this is from notes. Okay, second derivative, okay, at the ending point, which is 0, so is k get from the s1 double prime 0. Of course, if plug in zero, you get zero. Okay, Hans, okay, the natural cubic spline that you construct, actually, you satisfy okay, condition. This is condition six in the second derivative at the starting point. So, starting point, okay, this is actually S naught. So, starting point, you must choose S naught double prime. Ending point, you must choose S1 double prime. Condition six, conditions k or uh, five is actually second derivative, k okay, second derivative at the k okay, mean joint k okay, connecting point which is negative one from k okay, s double prime node k okay, or s double prime one must be same. Condition four is actually their first derivative at their k okay, joining k okay, connecting point must be same, okay and then condition three is actually means the condition three is your S naught negative one will be equal to S one negative negative one. Okay, and then condition two is actually S naught k okay, S naught at negative two will be equal to F negative two. Okay, S naught at negative one must be equal to F negative one. S one at negative one must be equal to F uh, F negative one is here two point nine. Okay, S1, when x equal to 0, will be equal to F0, which is 2.2. Okay, this is a, okay, a condition for the natural cubic spline. And we have here. Okay. Natural, okay, the condition 6 uh, for cubic spline. And then how to construct the natural cubic spline? First step. Construct HK, DK, BK using the formula. Okay. 
Okay. Then, okay, later on, okay, from this one, plug in K01 to find the unknown M1 up to MN minus 1. Step 4, find the natural cubic spline based on this formula. Okay, so with this, thank you for your attentions.